What's up guys, it's Eric from B-Sign. Today we have here a 2012 Honda Accord and we're gonna be installing this SP31 Shift Power Throttle Response Controller. This throttle response controller is gonna give a little more fun out of this vehicle here. It's gonna give more throttle response and if you're an echo person and you wanna save some gas, it also has the echo mode in addition to an anti-theft pedal lock mode and also a valet mode as well. So many functions packed in this small package. Let's go ahead, go inside, install it, and show you how it works. All right, so let me go ahead and show you the contents in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it from the bottom. And then let's take everything out. So inside here, you'll find your plug and play harness connected to the module. You'll also find the button that we're gonna connect. All you have to do is connect this button like so. And then we're gonna go find the plug behind the acceleration pedal. We're gonna unplug it and daisy chain this in between. So this is gonna plug into your acceleration pedal and this will connect to the original connector that was fitted into the acceleration pedal. All right, and we also have some zip ties here to clean up your install. That is a really cool sticker as well if you wanna use it. So first step, we have to go down under here and we're gonna look for the acceleration pedal plug. So how you find it is once you locate the acceleration pedal, just look up and then you'll be able to find it. So we're gonna go in, all right, so acceleration plug and up there. Okay, and then before we unplug this, we wanna make sure your car is asleep. There's um, different ways to do it. First is just um, make sure you turn off your car, unlock it, and then keep the driver's side door open like so, put your keys really far away so that the car can't detect it and wait about 10 minutes. You could do that or you can just, um, for this accord, you could just actually just close the door, grab your key, lock it, and then unlock it. That also puts it to sleep. So it depends on the vehicle. Um, if you wanna be safe, make sure you could just keep your door open. I mean, turn off your car, keep your door open and just put your key fob very far away for about 10 minutes. And if you wanna be absolutely sure, you can even go and disconnect the negative terminal on the car's battery and then perform this installation if you wanna be 100% sure. All right, so here's the plug here. I'm gonna try to pull this out with one hand. So the, the plug's gonna be on the right side. I mean the, the release, release tab, I feel it, and just push straight up. So very easy, like so. We have our kit here. Okay, so the female side of our kit will plug in to this device. Okay, so we went ahead and connected this. So as you can see here, this is the factory connect, original connector is plugged into the female side of our harness. The male side is connected to the acceleration pedal. And then we all have this, and then we're gonna connect our um, switch to this, and we're gonna route it to your desired location. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, guys, so we finished the installation. Let me show you how we set this up. So let me take a close up with our little handy camera here. So here is where we connected our little module. We went ahead and uh, we wrapped the cable around this factory cables and then we zip tied over here so that it won't move around and hit any of these moving parts down here. You wanna make sure of that because you don't want it to intrude your driving. And then the button we went ahead and routed the cable left and then left and then up here, right here. We thought this was a really good location for it. You can also put it on the right side as well. Or another good location is around here as well. All right, so now that we installed it, let's go ahead and get it set up and go for a test drive. So we have this installed on the left side. We have the button here, it's white. That means it's turned off right now. So we're gonna first go ahead and connect it. So we're gonna select the car icon. Okay, first you need to download the Shift Power app. And then once you do it, open the app. You're gonna click on the car icon and you're gonna connect. And then you're gonna allow access. Oh, well, hold on. So we're gonna go ahead and pair. And it's gonna ask you for a pin number. So it's gonna, you're gonna have this little paper here that comes with the kit and the password is written on here. So let's go ahead and put this in. Okay, all right. And we're gonna go ahead and select it's the Honda Accord 2012. Let's accept. And then now every time we press on this button, it's gonna jump to different modes. And if you want something in between, you can actually put your, place your finger and then drag to 1% increments, exactly what you want. 
if you go to settings, there's also three different acceleration curves. I'm going to go ahead and keep it on linear for this. So we also have the valet mode. You can also lock your throttle as well. And we also have the echo mode too. So many different um, functions to pick from. So let's go for a test drive. We're going to turn it off for now. All right. And then we're going to see how it is, how it feels, factory. And then we're going to compare. So I'm going to drive normally by giving about maybe 25% throttle. All right, so here it is with 25% throttle. I'm going to change it. Okay, there's a little bit of kick there. All right, a little bit more kick. And this is on race mode, the most aggressive mode. So here we go. Let me place this on race mode, on linear curve. Oh. Whoa. Hi, Aizo. Look at the big footage that I'm on. Wow, look at the car. Look at the back. We, we left everybody in the back. The car's so fast. All right, guys. So there definitely is a significant difference from factory, but I'm going to have the owner drive this just so you have a better comparison from someone who knows how this car drives and drives this car every single day. Time to go race. あ、全然違うかもしれない。もうこれで分かったわ。あ、もうね。超快適。これ違いますか? <笑> Alright guys, well this concludes our installation and demonstration of this SP22 on this 2012 Honda Accord. It's also compatible with other Honda vehicles. If you have any questions, drop a line below or you can email us at info at beatsonicusa.com. If you'd like to purchase this today, it is available at beatsonicusa.com. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe and also give us that like on our video. Thank you very much.